Welcome back to the show. We was still a lot of problems. But we strived, we worked hard, we made it through, and now we no longer have to worry about any more chapters of Spires of Magic. So, here's the next chapter of Spires of Magic, Part 2, 11 months. You know, that fake out probably would work better if you guys didn't read the title uh, down below or looked at the title up above or looked at my feed or saw the cover art. Look, I'm not as good as Lupa sometimes, alright? But I think I got something that's going to make me really happy. You look so sexy this way. By Eddie Thirteen. You really think I'm hot? With the transformed Fluttershy paralyzed by the sight of her own reflection, Twilight took action. Aiming a horn, she directed a spell at the Bat Pony. Within moments, Fluttershy was trapped in a cocoon of purple energy. Do you think it'll work? Spike asked. I sure hope so, Applejack said nervously. In a second, the purple light faded, and an unconscious figure was lowered to the ground. Phew! Twilight sighed as her horn glowed fast. Just to do it. Her finger began to twitch and raise. The relief crew was expecting to see their normal sized friend's face, only to be shocked by seeing the face of a bat pony. Duh! Spike cried in shock as he hid behind Twilight. It didn't work! But, but that's impossible! Twilight cried, her eyes white in disbelief. This spell should have worked! Uh, what spell? The bat pony asked in a familiar voice. The bat pony's pony-like behavior caused the group to look at it with surprise and uncertainty. Uh, Fluttershy? Twilight asked apprehensively. Yes? The bat pony replied, Fluttershy's usual manner. What's the matter? Fluttershy, was that little ya? Applejack asked with eyes wide and a slight jaw. Yes, it's me. Fluttershy nodded. But what's wrong with all of you? Oh, uh, well, Rainbow Dash said slowly. There's nothing wrong with us. Huh? Twa, Applejack asked me not honestly. A little close to her happen. I don't know, Twilight replied with uncertainty. I'll need to get back to the library and figure it out. She then turned to Fluttershy. Don't worry, Fluttershy. Everything's gonna be fine. Fluttershy was confused. Really? Why does every pony look at me like I'm some sort of sorry animal? Well, because you kinda are, silly, Pinkie Pie replied. Huh? What? Look! <laughs> the party party says he grabs one of the mirrors he used to trap Flutter Bat. Pinky, no! It was too late. Pinky had the mirror for Flutter Shy. When he hears a few seconds, an ear piercing, high pits, <clears throat> and runs it throughout Sweet Apple Lakers, causing the vampire fruit bats throughout the grove to take to the skies in shock. At the same time, the unmistakable sound of glass cracking and breaking was concerning of a screen. It, Sounds of society. A single voice was heard. Well, you just got yourself 21 years of bad luck, Fluttershy. And I need to get myself three new modeling mirrors. The frustrated fast needs to add with a sigh. I just don't understand it. A frantic Twilight says you went through what looked like your hundredth book in the last hour. The Spike got her large books, and others watched her to sigh. I looked over that spell instantly. It should have turned Fluttershy to normal completely. N not just her mind. That's what you question went wrong. What you can't tell you to back to the plague is this rat. Applejack gasped hopefully. You only responsible for a friend's current state. If I can figure out what went wrong with the spell, hopefully. Twice says he put down another spin volume. Well, if you can't, Butterside said hopefully. Maybe I could get Discord to change me back. Eh, wouldn't trust him to do that, Butterside. Rainbow Dash said uneasily. I get that he's your friend and all. I still think he's a pain in the flank. Besides, I doubt he wants you to tease you back. He'll no doubt prefer you this way. Oh dear. But as I said nervously, I hope if this isn't resolved by our next tea party, it will come on to me. That makes two of us. Rainbow Dash thought to herself barely. Any luck on finding a solution to poor Flutter Sox's condition? Rarity asked during researching Alcorn. Still looking, Twice says he went through three books at once. There's got to be a clue on why the spell messed up in the first place, so we'll know how to fix it. Ugh. 
I'm not sure about that, Twy. Spike said in a slow, nervous manner. The dragon's comment caused every pony to look in his direction. Eh, why do you see that, Spike? Verity asked uneasily. Even if we find out how to spell goof, it won't really matter, was the reply. What What do you mean, Spike? Twy asked, a bad feeling forming in the fear of her stomach. In response, Spike held a report. I was researching the original book you found a spell in. Turns out there's a part you missed. Oh, fine print. Pinky Pie said nervously. Yeah, that's never a good thing. I must have overlooked it in my rest to find Apple Jack a solution to the vampire fruit bats. That's what I said before nervously gulping. What did I say, Spike? Well, Spike said slowly as he looked over the book. Turns out the spell can only be used on a subject once. Well, so what? Rainbow said dismissively. We're not looking to put it on Fluttershy again? No, you don't understand, Rainbow, Spike said with shaking his head. The spell can only be placed on and removed from a subject once. Since Fluttershy got the rebound for the spells to use on the Flutterfire Fruit Bats, it counted as being cast on her. The bottom of Twilight's stomach fell out as he realized the implications of Spike's words. In her attempt to return to normal, however perfect it was, counted as being removed from her. My brain was completely stuck. Silent as the points didn't process what Twilight was saying. You, Verity was the first to speak up. You mean not? Twilight nodded reluctantly. No matter what we try, the spell won't work on Fluttershy anymore. So he turned to the bat pony. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but you're stuck as a bat pony forever. The former Pegasus felt her mouth fall open as her eyes grew three times her normal sizes. She took the words in. A farm pony gave her an apologetic look. A sighing Pegasus put a consoling hoof on her shoulder, while a dragon did the same with a claw on her leg. Fastinisa gave her a sympathetic hug. A party pony gave a different perspective. Wooly, the spy pony took out of his challenge styling news! The following morning, after having Twilight removed the safe of all the vampire fruit bats, the ponies walled off a sex of sweet apple acres for the bats to reside in. Creating a bat sanctuary like Fluttershy suggested, figuring this the least they could do for the girl after what they had done to her. Okay. Fluttershy. Albatrex says slowly as he put out the sanctuary sign. I am so sorry for this. I still listened to you in the first place, but I was just too stubborn and wanted to bait down my crowd. Now thanks to me, you're stuck this way for the rest of your life. Don't go blame just yourself for this, Applejack, Rarity said solemnly. We all go to Fluttershy to doing the plan. All of us are to blame. No, Fluttershy said on a scene there. It's my fault. I knew the plan was a bad idea from the start, but I gave it and did it anyway. She looked over her scaly bat wings and felt her fangs before hanging her head in submission, her bat ears drooping. This is my punishment for trying to change the bats. Fluttershy, twice said giddily, you did not deserve to have this happen to you. I'm the one who should have studied that stupid spell more carefully. Now you end up paying the price for my necklaces. Pony, please! Pinky cried before any pony could say anything else. You just gonna keep blaming yourselves all day. Let's just say we're all at fault for what happened to Flyers and be done with it, okay? The grip was silent for a second before Applejack spoke up. I suppose that Malik's science. Still feel bad about it, though. And that's how you're supposed to feel after you've done something bad to your friend. Pinkie Pie commented. Oh well. Fireside sighed before looking out towards the fence off grove. If any good came out of this, at least the vampire fruit beds don't have some place to live. Like I said, the seeds they spit out will grow into much healthier trees. It means more apples next year. Wait a minute! Rainbow Dad said slowly as a realization on her. That means more cider! Oh, right! Oh, cheers. He looked at the air started flying around. Woohoo! Man, we should have taken Flutter Sight's fight from the start! Looking down, he saw the group at, look at her with annoyed expressions before mostly the Flutter Shy. Oh, right. Maybe my dad says he landed. Guess we really should have listened. Do you think you'll be okay, dear? Red, he asked Flutter Sight worriedly. Bad Pony sighed she looked over her permanent form. Oh, I'll miss, I suppose. This team will take some getting used to. Look on that bright side, Flutter, Pinkie Pie said optimistically. You can be queen of all vampire fit-daps! Uh, considering Equestria's past the character of a queen, 
That might not be such a good idea, Spike pointed out. Why don't I say it again? Playing ears flopping. Well, I gotta go home now. I'll let you all know if I need anything. Bye, girls. Thanks for trying to help me. Her head down low, her bat wings drooping. Fireside slowly trotted away back towards her kites. The rest of the group watching her until she was out of sight. Poor girl, Applesack sighed guiltily. She says she's had to like her lap is over. What kind of it is, isn't it? Spike blurted out, Earlier look looked for the group. What? <sighs> it's the only thing we could do to help her, Twilight. Mary D asked the alcorn. Twilight reluctantly shook her head. I'm afraid there's just no way to undo the spell. I don't know what else we can do. Maybe you can throw her a party to her up, Piggy Price suggested. I don't think she's in the mood for a party at the moment, Pikey. Applejack commented regretfully. Especially a congratulations to your bed pony party, Spike added. Mary Dash, meanwhile, will still focus on the spot Fireside had disappeared from sight. The numbness of her sadly staggered away from her deep into her mind. She just couldn't bear to see such a sight. Within moments, her eyes narrowed with determination as she leapt into the air. Fable Das, where are you going? Mary Dash asked, surprised. I'm going to see Fluttershy, she said firmly. I know her longer than the rest of you, so I'm the best party to help her. But Rainbow, I told you, Twilight said. There's no way to change her back. Big deal, Dad thought dismissively. So well, she's going to be a bad point for the rest of her life. She's still the same Fluttershy I love, and I'm going to remind her of that. And with that, the side speedster was off while her shot. Rainbow Trio following her as he sped off towards Fluttershy's cars. Hey! Applejack. Smart. That's the yellow loyalty for you. Uh, did Dassie say love or no in love? Piggy says. She scratched her head in a world of it. Over her kites, Flareside was explaining her son chasing animals. Fortunately, her furry friends were not put off by her new appearance. While they were a bit unearthed by the sight of her fangs when she smiled, their understanding and knew that he had to get used to her caretaker's new appearance. Fluttershy's bats apparently gotten used to her new look immediately. Now listen, she told the bats. You're really nice and I appreciate you, sir. But I do not want to be the ruler of all bats. The bats sighed and reluctantly nodded before flying away, leaving Fluttershy to herself. At least I still have my animal friends. She said when Mr. Ozzy sat down on the lawn. It would be that bad to never show my face in public again. That's a little bummer, Dash! Where should I jump for a second before a familiar pig is landed beside her? Oh, it's you, Rainbow. Where should I say? What are you doing here? Listen to you spout butts of nonsense, Rainbow Dash cried. What's this about you never letting any pony see you again? That's what I said. Where should I say assertively? I'm never leaving my cards again. It's actually for the best, really. I was never one for crowds anyway. Where should I say? You're being ridiculous, Rainbow Dash face up. You really think every pony in Ponyville will freak out at the sight of you? Rainbow. Fireside said solemnly as he held out her bat wings. Look at me. I'm a freak. Any pony that takes one look at me will run off in a panic. Considering I had gold self-esteem in the first place, the thought that happened would destroy me. Rainbow Dash sighed. Knowing from experience, you would have to handle this with kid gloves. Fluttershine, she said slowly. Be sensible. The ponies in Ponyville won't shun you because you look a little different. I mean, they're no strangers or crazy stuff. After all, they've seen a living myth return, got stampeded twice, and dirt a Paris fright infestation. And this is just me flourish so I hang her head in guilt. Got dragged along with two of twice crazy antics, visited by Cerebus, enslaved by a corrupt stage magician, made nice with the spirit of chaos himself, and recently experienced a near takeover for the Everfree Forest. After all that, you won't be put off just because a pony is frowning a pair of fangs and has bat wings. They'll know you're the still seeing Fluttershy. Well, I suppose I'm right. Fluttershy admitted, realizing Rainbow Dash had a point. Here, you see? Rainbow Dash said excitedly. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm scary looking. Fluttershy said regretfully. Well, look at it this way, Rainbow Dash said optimistically. I don't have any reason to be scared around Nightmare Night anymore. Huh? Without how you look, you'll have nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know, Dad said encouragingly. Now you'll be able to scare off anything that tries to hurt you. I never thought of it that way. Fireside said in amazement. Sure, and besides. You know, Dad said with a grin. You're not that scary looking. But 
You look kind of cool. What? Sure. Rima Death said enthusiastically. I mean, look at those wings. She pointed at Flair's eyes, scaly appendages. Looking at them now, they actually look pretty boss. If I did already have an awesome pair of wings of my own, I'd love to have some bat wings. Well, they are kind of looking. It won't change the fact that I'm still the worst flyer in Equestria. First, I commented. Uh, you obviously were unaware of the flying studs you did when you were scaring the living daylights out of me and the others. Even Dad said dryly. That was only because I had the mind of a bat. Flash like Karen. Oh, yeah? The side pigs just said with a smirk as he looked into the air. Now follow me and we'll see you how you do. Getting out reluctantly, Flash like spread her wings and in the air. Surprising to find she's doing so much easier than usual. You see? Rainbow Dash said, grinning. You're a natural now. See if you can catch up with me. See, in a flash, she was off. Without even thinking, Fireside took off after the Pegasus. Once her surprise, the difficulty she usually had when she flew was not present. Her bat wings seemed to cut through the air much more easily than when she was a Pegasus. Looking down, she was surprised to see how much space she was passing over with each wing beat. In seconds, she was a few feet away from Rainbow Dash. Not bad! A rainbow main pony said decisively. We'll see how you do it against a pro. Get it you can! With that, she put on an extra burst of speed, pulling away from Fireshy. Suddenly, deep within Fireshy sprang to life. With the determination appearing in her eyes as a grim for her lips. We'll see about that! She said with a chuckle before racing after failure with a friend. Fireshy was easily able to duplicate every maneuver that Dash did. From loop to loops, spins, squirrels, to dodging obstacles, even paradise dive bombs. All the while, Man seemed to stay within a few feet from her. Fraybo decided not to try a Sonic Rainbow, unless Fluttershy was able to one up on her in it. Before Rainbow Dash even knew, knew it, Fluttershy was neck and neck with her, much to her shock and surprise. Hey, Dash, Fluttershy said with a cocky grin. First one to that mountain wins. Before increasing her speed and pulling ahead, oh, you're on! Rainbow Dash replied as he accelerated after the Bat Pony. The pair flew towards their destination at breakneck speeds. The trail shown by pink and rainbow streaks in their wake. At one moment, Rainbow managed to pull ahead of Fluttershy, only for the Bat Pony to overtake her again, followed by Rainbow getting ahead again. Then Fluttershy, back and forth, the, le the lead kept changing as they neared the mountain. The last screech, the duo skilled to a top on the mountain's edge, both of them panting and perspiring. So, who do you think won? Fluttershy asked as she caught her breath. I'm not sure, Rainbow Dash gasped in response. We were both killing so fast. Can I keep tracking who was the first? In that case, Fluttershy replied, let's call that race a draw. Rainbow Dash smirked. I can agree to that, but we're totally having a rematch, got it? Fluttershy smirked. Deal. By now, Celestia's light was going down to the horizon. The duo decided to watch the sunset, planting their rubs on the cut's edge to serve the beautiful sight. So, Fluttershy. Rainbow Dash says you watch the sun going down. Think you'll be able to adjust to your new appearance now? Actually, I think I will nicely. Fluttershy said positively. You showed me that being a bat isn't so bad after all. There, you see? Rainbow Dash smirked. Hey, you were also back there, Flutters. Never had a flying buddy keep up with me like that before. Flying together in the future could be lots of fun. Um, Rainbow. Fluttershy said slowly. I don't mean to pry, but... Do you prefer me like this than when I was a Pegasus? That question caused Rainbow's eyes to widen as he looked at the back point in your face. What? No! Of course not! Sure, I find your new flying skills impressive, but I still like you as a Pegasus as much as I do now. Really? Where is I asked softly. Sure. Rainbow Dad's nodded. You are as cute now as you were then. Rainbow Dad's eyes widen as you just said. Turning to Flutter's eyes, she saw the bat pony had a surprised look on her face. You... You thought I was cute as a Pegasus? Flutter's eyes asked in surprise. Well, 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 it wasn't hard to see you were an adorable pony. You think I'm cute the way I am? Well, to be honest, I think I'm more than just cute. You mean cool? More than that. Awesome. Still more. Well then, Rainbow. Why is your personal opinion my new look? Fireside asked. Rainbow Dad looked back to the bat pony beside her. The setting sun seemed to give her a heavenly glow. Her bat wings appeared to be shimmering, and her mane just a little more wild than her original, 
Still appeared sickly in the sunlight. Every pony's eyes through, now bloodshot looked adorable. Fire Rodowski and Flair shot at a tire once over. Her body was glistening when first racing from the race. Kills, Kills! Kills! Come on! You know you want to. A drop of sweat raced down Flair Shy's cheek and passed over her lips before hitting the ground. Many of Dad's swings felt like they were on fire. In my honest opinion, Flair Shy, Rainbow Dad said slowly. I think you actually look kinda hot. Flair Shy's eyes wide in surprise. That was not the terms he was expecting. You you think I look hot? Well, when I saw you last night, I was in freakout mode, so I couldn't really focus on how you look, Rainbow Dad said. But seeing you up close without that hungry bat mindset, you're actually sexy. Fresh's mind was blown. She couldn't imagine her Philly Hood friend would find her attractive. Yet, here she admitted it. It's rather amazing it caused something to click in her mind. And then seconds, a strange sparkle appeared in Fleshy's eyes as her demure smile turned to one more wicked. You think I'm sexy, huh? Well, yeah, Rainbow Dash said with a bless. The bad pony just stayed over to Rainbow Dash and sat down beside her. Does that mean you think you could allow me to be seductive? Um, possibly! Rainbow Dash squeaked. Love that. Fireside says he runs up against the pictures. How good of a seductress do you think I could be? Rainbow Dash go, Oh, I see a pretty hot one! Fireside's face glistened. Good answer. Fireside did a bit to Rainbow Dash's shoulder. Yeah! Uh, no blood sucking! Fireside took her mouth at Dash's neck. Sorry, didn't mean that you bite so hard. Uh, why did you bite anyway? Rainbow Dash asked one way to see Roger Solder. Because you're not the only one who sees her best friend as a tech. Fireside said with a detective voice. Rainbow Dash smart to see realized what Fireside was getting at. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fireside replies he's good closer to Dash. Well, you know, Rainbow Dash says she runs up against Fireside. That my thing's gonna need work. I don't want to end up having to get a tetanus shot every time we make out. Got it. Fireside nodded. That's a death of fit, however. Rainbow Dash said with a grin. That was spot on. Well, in that case. Fireside says he crouched, followed by pouncing on Rainbow Dash. Unfortunately for the pair, Fireside ended up knocking them over the edge. Having so fast that Drash didn't have time to react. Ah! She cries, you just set your face down. Praising herself, Rainbow Dash expected another painful crash to her resume. Surprisingly, however, she didn't feel any impact. Care is to the long fall. Rainbow Dash opened her eyes, surprised to see that dangling upside down, then be in the air. Shocked at how this happened, she heard a giggle and turned to see an upside down flyer shy. It was sporting a cocky grin. I got a stashy. Confused on her face, Rainbow looked back up and saw Flyer Shy's tail was hanging onto a tree branch, giving them both a laugh. First, I giggled. You're right. Being a bat isn't so bad after all. She then wrapped her bat wings around Rainbow Dash and pulled her close. So, Rainbow, wanna join the tree talk club? Rainbow Dash smirked before wrapping her hose around the bat pony, giving her a romantic and passionate kiss. Are you sure you want to go to Feather's Ice Pigs, Applejack? Rarity asked as the four ponies walked along the path. Darn positive! Applejack replied, I still think about Flourishai and the Nibblex today. I have to try something hard to help her through this mess. But Dash says he helped Flourishai get to this that kind of thing, Piggy Pie commented. And I appreciate the gesture. Applejack nodded. Well, this situation is too still blank for any one pony alone to face. There's only one single pony to do, I can do. And I don't know if Rainbow Dash could be able to get through to her. The sun sank, Twilight looked into the sky to figure how far from Fireside's cause the group was. Was he caught something surprising? Twilight, what's wrong? Rarity asked with tw what saw Twilight's shocked face. Look up in that tree. The three ponies fall through the faces of kneeling forward into massive shocked expressions. For there, dangling by the tree vest, ten feet in the air, and upside down with Fireside and Rainbow Dash, the hosts and wings wrapped around each other too tightly. Let's fiercely glue together to a passionate kiss. Um, I think she got through to her. Think if I commented to the stun group. Okay. Spiders of magic. Come here. Come here. I, I, 
I promise I won't beat you too badly. Look at this! Look at this! This is how you do romance! Pay attention! As I proceed to go step by step on how you failed in this check in 4,000. 4,226 words was able to do what you can't! Oh, and if Mikey's paying attention to this, please also t t pay attention. Ding! Number one. There is more to Flair da to Rainbow Dash's Flair size relationship than just racing in this. We see that Rainbow Dash is supportive of Fluttershy. She's able to hold her up when Fluttershy is feeling down. At the same time, Fluttershy is able to hold Rainbow Dash back and is able to touch to Rainbow Dash's heart. Two! While yours was just nothing more than just Peter Parker feeling down about himself all the time, we see that the two do have happy moments, and that they are both not attracted to each other just because they were both being pessimistic dumbasses! Number three. We can see that also there is more to their relationship than just sex, which, I mean, I may add, sometimes felt like that with your Twilight romance! And finally, number four. Not a single one of them feels like they have to bit, rely on each other without the other. Both of them feel like individual characters in their story. You failed, they succeeded. Pay attention. So, yeah. Great chemistry, great idea, really sweet moment. It's Flutter da Dash. Next time. Ready, steady, can't hold me back. Ready, steady, give me, wish me good luck. Let's get started. Ready, steady, go! Follow Equestria. Brotherhood. See you then!